Hello, my name is Daniel. In this video, you can learn how to migrate Complete Shooter to another project or move Logic to another character. First of all, we need to prepare our project before we migrate Complete Shooter here. Open Plugins window and enable Apex Destruction and Online Subsystems team. Before you open project settings, please download .ini files from the description. You will need to import them to your project, or you can do everything by yourself, but you need to make sure you have the same collisions, surface and inputs as in the original Complete Shooter project. First of all, we go to the input and select import button. We need to import input.ini file here. Now we need to go to the collision and import here collision.ini. We will see changes after we restart the project. The same thing with the physics tab. We need to import our surface. Select surface.ini here. You can do everything by yourself, even export these tabs from complete shooter project, if you don't want to download these files. As you can see, after we restarted the project, everything appeared. Now we can migrate Complete Shooter folder from Complete Shooter project to our new project. Now let's open project settings and select default maps. It's important to start with start map because you create a session at this moment. And it's also important to have travel level as menu. Change the game instance to our game instance info. For online subsystem, you also need to add text to the default engine.ini of your project. Just copy this from the text file to your default engine.ini. You can find the same lines in the default engine of Complete Shooter. To move everything from your character to another, we need to prepare our new character first. Add the same interfaces and copy every component to your character. We recommend to have a camera on a spring arm to be able to switch between first person perspective to third person perspective. Add hit widget component to your character to have visual hits in the game. Add our skeleton to your skeleton mesh component. Set his animation blueprint to ABP shooter and connect spring arm to his head. Set the same location and rotation of the camera, spring arm and mesh.
Now let's create the same functions. You just need to recreate them in your character. After this, you need to move everything from event graph of our character to your character. Refresh nodes and recreate every variable. Now you need to set up the interface functions and set default values of the created variables.
If you want to use our animation blueprint in your character, you can do two things. You can choose our skeleton when you import the mesh or assign our skeleton to your mesh. Your skeleton mesh should have default Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeleton, 